automobiles continue to rely on internal combustion engines, or ICES, as fuel characteristics change, improving ICE efficiency is critical to consumer needs. Understanding how turbulence affects the efficiency helps researchers design better engines. In the physical lab, experiments of motored or gas exchange engine operations are often performed. This means there is no combustion occurring. Instead, the turbulent characteristics of the working fluid during engine operation are investigated. One such experiment is the Transparent Combustion Chamber, or TCC3. To further study this turbulent behavior, computer models are generated and high-performance computing simulations are performed. The TCC3 engine apparatus consists of the intake plenum, the intake runner and port, a single-cylinder combustion chamber, the exhaust runner and port, and finally, the exhaust plenum. This simulation focuses on the combustion chamber and provides unprecedented detail of the turbulent flow during the engine cycle, which cannot otherwise be seen using experimental techniques. While the simulation does not include ignition from the spark plug, flow around this region is a critical component to understanding the turbulent behavior in these types of engines. The working fluids, typically air, operate in an engine cycle which consists of a number of sequential and interrelated sections, or strokes. 1. Intake 2. Compression 3. Expansion, and finally 4. Exhaust. Time in simulations like these is measured in crank angle degrees, or CAD, as shown in the lower right. This indicates the angle of the crank which turns and moves the piston up and down in the chamber. During the intake stroke, atmospheric air enters the cylindrical chamber as the valve opens. The air quickly becomes turbulent. Despite the chaotic motion, the intake port and valve are carefully designed to produce large-scale, organized motion known as swirl, which helps maintain optimal engine efficiency. Focusing on the spark region from one cycle to the next, we see that the jet can impinge on the spark at different times. Here, for example, the vorticity contours with the high velocity reach the spark plug at slightly different points in time between these two consecutive cycles. The interaction of the fast-moving intake jet with the spark plug enhances the level of turbulence in the chamber. We see smaller turbulent structures early in the stroke, while later these structures appear larger. This seems to match our theoretical understanding of the fluid where faster turbulence has smaller vortices and slower turbulence has larger ones. The intake stroke terminates with the closure of the inlet valves, establishing the conditions for the compression stroke. During the compression stroke, the valves are completely closed as the piston moves up towards the top of the cylinder. This compresses the air trapped from the intake stroke and increases the turbulent intensity of the air. Compression is followed by the expansion stroke where the piston moves downward, which increases the volume of the chamber. Here, a sharp suppression of turbulent kinetic energy reduces the appearance of vortex structures. The final portion of the cycle is the exhaust stroke where the exhaust valve opens, letting pressurized air enter into the chamber. As the piston moves up, air is expelled from the chamber through the exhaust port and onto the exhaust plenum. 